tips that goes along with the error codes. Um, so let, let's say you have an 01 error code. 01 is a call down problem. Okay, so you're going to come over and look at this. You're going to see that, that you know, the, the call's down and you've got an 01 error code. First thing you need to do if you've got an 01 error code is make sure, what I said earlier, make sure that the, the string is, at Z, is in the Z shape. Okay, 01 error code is because they, it doesn't know it's up. Generally, if this come, rides off of this pulley and comes off, that string will now come through this tube and go straight this way. Because this tube isn't up all the way right now, let's say it's not up. As you see, the tube is down, as far down as it'll go. If the string is off of the pulley, I'll give you an idea of how this works now. If the string comes off of the pulley, Okay. As you see, it no longer represents a Z. And this no longer is spring loaded up or down. There's no pressure on there. You can move it freely. But it's stiff. Okay? So the first thing you gotta do, you gotta know one error code. Right now when this comes up, if it comes up from there, it'll no longer be in it, it'll no longer be ready to play. You'll see here in a second. More than likely. Well, it, did, it worked that time. Generally, you'll get an 01 error code because it, does not, it doesn't pull this tube up far enough to allow the, your switch to come up. That's one of the problems, generally. Um, seems to be like this new one that, with this metal bracket across the bottom of this arm. It seems to be able to pull that up high enough to do that. The old ones didn't have this bent little piece of this arm, which didn't hold the string up there. So... That, hopefully that's taking care of that problem on the newer machines, but the older machines for sure, and this one still could do it. If this doesn't pull it all the way up, as you see, if it gets it to there and stops and can't pull it, and that switch don't open, you're going to get an 01 error code. The switch has to open. So the first thing you need to do is come in and make sure you know, that your string goes around the right way and is wrapped the right way. If the strings wrap the right, right way, well, you will never get an error code. You can't. So that's the first thing we got to do is make sure everything's in and lined up and the strings wrapped the right way. So I'll go back and put the string where it belongs, of course. So now we got the string in here where it's uh, supposed to be. We're good to go. Okay, so you, let's say you got an 01 error code. You make sure. Okay, that's fixed. Another thing that causes 01 error code is if the string comes off its pulley and wraps around winds around behind the pulley, in front of the pulley, between the rollers. That causes the same problems. Um, going along with the 01 error code because it's an up and down is if it goes down and too much string gets let out and it never stops which will cause that to wrap behind that stuff or cause it to come off of this pulley. That's because as it comes down it should be spring loaded to that down position when the pressure gets off the claw. So when it goes down to spring load that closes your upper switch. If this arm does not close down to the down position, it's either dragging on the string around this pulley, or the spring is broke right here, or right here, and it's no longer coiled, or your string has come off of this pulley. If that's the case, it'll never close this switch. So, on the second half of, of 01, once we get 01 error code, if it's none of those problems, then you either have a bad switch, you have broke wires, or you got a bad motor. You could also have a bad gantry gear. Up top here is your gantry gear. As you see, you got that gear right there. It meshes up against the motor shaft. You have to make sure that gear is not stripped. If the gear is stripped, it could be sitting there spinning, but you would hear that. If you're not hearing any noises, the next step to do is come in with a meter and test at your at your motor back here take the back panel off test at your motor for 48 volts you're only going to get the 48 volts when you turn the machine off and back on so at that point it'll do its countdown as soon as it gets done with its countdown the first thing it's going to try to do is take up the motor if it doesn't go up it'll eventually shut off in 10 15 seconds from an error and give you an error of one so during that 10 or 15 seconds that's when you put your meter on the two leads to that motor which is the right motor on the center car 
or you can go back in the back left corner at the two reds and put your two leads in there. Turn it off, turn it back on, wait through a countdown in the first 15 seconds you should have 48 or 50 volts, 52 volts or whatever it is. Um, if you smell fire, like if the motor had fire or smoked, um, more than likely it's probably a bad motor. If that's the case, you know, you're going to replace it, of course. So that's an 01 error code. 02 error code, you're going to have to, uh, it is a forward error code problem. Same exact problems that I said in 01. You're going to have a switch problem. Um, your rollers might not be rolling good. You need to check and make sure they're sitting on the rods on each side. Make sure your brackets are installed. One thing that can cause that is this thing to, to shift like that. So one side is down, the other side's up. Is the little, there's little bolts on each end. There's four bolts that hold these, these two rods from the left to right. Make sure the bolts are tightened down. Make sure you're pulling on it down so it's square and flat. And then tighten those bolts down on each end. Those bolts get loose and if they do, it's going gonna, it's gonna to wander and wobble down those rails. So you could have a switch problem, you could have a broke wire, you could have a bad motor. Your front and back motors on the left hand end panel. Then the next one would be 03. Your 03 error code is left and right, same thing. You end up, it has to go left. If it's not making it left, it could be sliding on these rails. You know, it could be a bad gantry gear again. Um, could be a bad motor, could be a broke wire. Could be a wire on the switch is bad or pulled off. It could be, you know, your pins in this back corner are pushed out a little bit. It's very hard to tell if they're pushed out. You have to actually pull the wires to see if they're pu pulled or not. Um, if you pull one of the wires, for let's say it's a left-right motor, and you know it's it's an orange wire, and you pull one of the orange wires and it starts to slide out, there's your whole problem: is that wire, that pin wasn't seated anymore. So, I think that's all of that.